Hey guys, this is Mark from ParkFlyers.com. Today we're looking at the Pro 4 SC10 from Team Associated. This is a four-wheel drive short course truck and it's been out for quite some time now. This particular version we're looking at is the brushed version. It retails for 250 bucks and comes ready to run. Uh, now, the reason why we're showing this one is a customer had a good idea and that was since he's gonna replace the motor and speed control, why buy the more expensive one, which was really smart. So he purchased this car. The body color is a little different than the brushless one. In fact, I actually think this one looks a little bit nicer uh, and it's beautiful. So the, the, mo the chassis is where this thing shines. And everybody knows Team Associated has really good cars out. Uh, the smaller brother to this is the MT-10. It's the monster truck version and they share a lot of similar parts. Now, what this customer wanted to do, he wanted to put a higher quality motor and speed control in here. And what he did was he went with the Mamba X from Castle. Uh, this is their highest line uh, combination system. The one below this that we usually do in all, all the videos is the Copperhead. And below the Copperhead is the Sidewinder 4. So now the, the reason why he wanted to go with this, he's wanted a, a speed control that's never gonna overheat that's gonna be a little bit overkill. Uh, the performance is just gonna be a little bit more explosive because it has more, bigger capacitors. And uh, we think he made the right choice. Now the motor that comes with this combo is a 3200 KV 1412. Uh, the hole just behind that motor is it has more torque than the average motor in its class. And uh, you're gonna need that for four wheel drive. It was a very smart move that he did. And uh, I have to say, he saved money on the purchase since he bought the brush version. And then he went with the more expensive uh, motor and speed control, which is what I would have done. For a pinion, we went with an 18 tooth pinion. And for battery power, we went with my favorite. It's the ProTech uh, LIHV 5000 milliamp battery pack. Uh, this retails for $61.99. It's got slightly higher voltage than the competition, uh, or I, I should say a standard LiPo. A standard LiPo is 7.4 volts. This one uh, is 7.6. Now that might seem very little, but you actually can tell a big difference between a LiPo and an LIHV. The battery is also super, super light. It weighs very little, uh, which is gonna aid in keeping the truck light so it could jump and handle very well. Now it's not a secret uh, that this is definitely a crowd favorite. This car, quite simply, will outhandle and outperform anything from Traxxas and Arma. Um, now, I do sell more of those cars. Uh, I do sell more Arma and more Traxxas as far as my volume goes, and that those cars are my bread and butter. But if you just want to be honest, you know, this car is going to be something that jumps better and it's going to handle better. For instance, when you take this into a jump and you launch it, um, it just kind of floats in the air. It kind of, you don't have to do much to it. It jumps really, really flat and neutral. So you don't have to use throttle to manipulate it as it's going through the uh, through the air where the other cars you have a tendency to let's say nosedive maybe and you have to mani manipulate the throttle you have to also take the jump correctly this car is lighter um, and it just jumps better it's a better balanced car and team associated is known for their for their engineering so you kind of see that in this car uh, the other thing that it does obviously it's going to handle a lot better um, uh, the other, another thing that you have to mention is it has a center differential that's included. That is going to make the handling more sophisticated and it's going to make it more akin to something like a six or $700 eight scale car. And I, uh, I applaud uh, uh, Team Associated for doing this because it is a feature that a lot of uh, manufacturers leave out because of cost. The other thing that they include to make the car handle good is front and rear sway bars. Um, on the Traxxas cars, they don't include those standard. On this car, it is actually standard and it's really welcome. Another cool scale feature that they put on the car are the rear mud flaps, which I really like. They look uh, nice and scale. Um, they don't really have much of a function, but they look cool and it's a nice touch. Now this, the only thing that the brush car does not come with over the brushless is the LED front and rear lights. Not a big deal in my opinion. You could always add them for very little money. Um, they have the receptacles to accept the lights and they plug into one channel on the receiver. Not a big deal at all. On this particular build, we're going to go through it really quick. Um, so the customer also wanted to enhance his steering. We went with the Savox Servo uh, SW1212. Uh, transit time is super quick and the torque is just off the charts. 
Uh, the, the main reason why we went with this is the reliability and the durability of the Savox um, is de definitely above average. And the other reason is they sent this servo centers perfectly. So when you let get, go of the steering, the car is going to always center perfect and you're not going to have any uh, drifting or wandering of the car. This servo, uh, I will actually go out on a limb and say it is impossible to break this servo, especially in this car. So this servo is, I would consider it unbreakable in a 10 scale car just because it's really meant for eight scale and it's a little bit overkill, but we love it. Uh, the motor, as you can see, this is a 1412 motor, slightly longer can than their uh, higher KV motors. It is all about torque. It's taking the transmission and it's just really, um, it's really able to move a four wheel drive transmission with no hesitation. And it's really a beautiful motor. Castle has been releasing some of the nicest motors out there for many, many years. And this is a perfect fit for this car. The, uh, the suspension, the customer went front and rear. The upgraded aluminum shocks, they are made by Team Associated. Um, the increase in performance is, is slight. Um, you have aluminum shock bodies, so the friction on the pistons is going to be less, so you have a little bit smoother action. Also, they're going to be more durable. The caps on them, plus the bodies are aluminum, so they're not going to separate on, let's say, a crash. Uh, they perform really good. They're very, very smooth. If you see the way they, they're very progressive um, and they definitely are a step above other manufacturers shocks that they include with their cars. There's no sag. The repeatability is con consistent. If you see that, there's no sag at all. Um, and like I said, they are the perfect size. Now make developing shocks for a car is a challenge for uh, an RC car maker. I've seen a lot of mistakes in the last, um, actually, unfortunately, in the last few months on some new releases from, I'm not gonna mention by name, but some RC car manufacturers are just putting the wrong uh, shock body, spring, and oil combinations in a lot of their cars. Uh, for this car, it just happens to be Team Associated is a racing company, so you have those guys setting this up. You have so not only is this car uh, engineered very well, but they're setting it up from the factory to perform like it should, and that is really um, you're going to be a step ahead when you put this car on the, on the ground right out of the box. Look at the, uh, the these are little protective bars. They're also used as handles to pick up the car. A nice touch. The other thing Team Associated includes with this car uh, is the net. The net is super light, it doesn't get in the way, and it just goes over all the electronics, protects everything, and that leads us into our next segment. Now, one of, the, one of the really good things about the design of this car is the center of the car has the center differential. So in all other RC car manufacturers, uh, those designs are allowing small rocks, pebbles, sand to get in there, and they're wreaking havoc on the drivetrain. This particular car, Team Associated, they really did a great job at basically isolating the drivetrain. I don't see any problems with sand getting in there. It is a really good design, and like, and it's the the cool, the funny thing about it is that it's several years old. Another cool thing um, on this car, especially for the price, two hundred and sixty bucks, is you have adjustable uh, steering and camber links, which is really good. On some of the cars in this price range, they just give you the plastic non-adjustables you're going to be able to to uh to play with your camber and your toe in really nice feature to have on a, on a car especially like i said in this price range so and one of the tires uh that we really see a lot of requests for are the gladiators from proline now these are an m3 compound so they're a little bit softer than the, you know the regular they do make it an m2 if you want a little bit longer wear but the m3 is the, is the grip that you're going to really want for this look at that tread this will be great on hard pack or even loose dirt. It has a lot of traction and they perform very well. Now, the one thing I like about the Proline wheels and tires is they come with removable hubs with six uh, screws. You can take them out, remove the hub if you strip them out. Easily replaceable. They sell them separately from Proline and they're very cheap. Now, with every kit, they come with uh, three different um, hubs with the car with this wheel actually. And if you look at it, this is one inch, half inch, and zero. Uh, now for this car, we're gonna go with the half inch which is in the middle, and uh, this seems to be the best. If you want a wider stance, you can use the one inch, uh, and that's not gonna be a problem. This car is going to be one of the best values for a short course truck for any at any price range. It's really something that is uh, an incredible performer, uh, they give you they give you a lot from the factory, and there's nothing really as far as price wise. There's nothing that could compete with this, and that is why in 2024 the Pro 4 is still selling. 
Uh, this should be a lesson to the entire RC community. You stay away from the steel CVDs. Um, I don't like the fact that you can't get separate parts for them. So if you lose a pin, like, like I said, or one of the parts break, you have to buy the whole CVD over again. So it's not something I would recommend. They're also heavier, much heavier than the stock plastic universals. If you don't abuse the car, you're not gonna need the steel ones. So like I said, avoid that upgrade if you can. Uh, definitely get the shocks and definitely replace your servo horn. Even if you stay with the stock servo, the stock servo has uh, a brass um, gearing in it and you can uh, benefit from putting the aluminum horn on that stock gear, uh, stock servo gear. So uh, it's gonna add to the durability. You will definitely wanna avoid the plastic servo horn. Uh, this is not gonna last at all. So that is the first thing you're gonna wanna replace. In fact, I'll give you the, the item number servo horn it's 9544 uh, we do have those on our website again 9544 this is mark from parkflyers.com giving you an honest and open review please leave comments below if you have any uh, questions call the 800 number if you want to buy one a custom one email mark marc at parkflyers.com anyway signing off we'll see you on the next review take care and have a great day and enjoy driving be well and thanks